Welcome to this Forest Park New Media screencast. In this screencast we're going to take a look at the program GarageBand and specifically we're going to talk about looping. So here I am loaded into a GarageBand project and looping is when you take a sound, whether it's, a piece, it's an actual sound effect or if it is a stinger or if it is a music piece or even a talking piece and when you loop it what that does is that allows that sound to repeat for however long you need it to repeat for. So looking at this example, I've got the narration part up here where I'm doing some talking, and I've got this piece of music. Let's say I want to take this music out for whatever reason, and I'm going to choose a different music piece. I'm in my uh, loop browser down here, and I get to that by clicking on the little eyeball icon that's located down over here. I've gone into my jingle section, and let's pick a jingle here that's a short piece. I'm going to take this and drop it in up here. And I'm going to set this up so that the music starts before the speaking part. Now notice that this music piece is not very long. In order to make this loop and repeat, I drag my cursor to the edge of the track and I get one of two icons. I either get this icon, which is the trimming icon, and there's another screencast you can watch about trimming. And I get that if I put, it on, if I put the cursor kind of on the bottom area of the track. If I put the cursor on the top area of the track, I get looping to show up. When I see that icon, I can click and hold the mouse and drag to the right. And notice that it's taking the original clip and it is looping it. It is making it repeat. So let's say I want to extend it out to here. And you can also tell where the piece ends. You'll notice that the little uh, sound piece kind of caves in there to show that that's the beginning or end of a track. And so now this has looped. So if we listen to this, I'm going to mute the voice for now. If we listen to this, you'll hear it start. This is the original piece that's playing right now. And when it stops, it starts it a second time and continues on. So it makes for some good behind the scenes music or background music. Now if I turn on the voice track to hear everything compiled together and I make sure ducking is turned on. All that being said, that's me and that's this class in a you nutshell. Got the background music playing and you've got the podcast professional the voice actor talking right there. So that is what looping is. Again, you can do this with a sound effect. If I wanted to extend this sound effect here, this electricity sound to keep going over and over for whatever reason, I could stretch that out and make that work that way as well. So that is looping. Thanks for watching.